welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're over on the FHG test account over on our test server and we're looking at the brand new Awakened Heroes with the Bountiful Trials of Thane. Now Thane is the third Awakened Hero that we have had. Um, Arena Trials, I'm, I'm really interested to see how he performs in this guys. Make sure that you do complete this because you get free stones out of here as well as some other loot. Um, guild Trials, super important. Make sure you're doing these guys. You get an extra 500 diamonds. That is where it gets 500 diamonds out of here, which could be one more summon out of the Stargazer. Could be a hero out of there. A um, couple other very, very cool things. So first of all, we're going to move over to our right. We're fighting Zorath in this one, which is a hero that I absolutely hate. Now, interesting enough, guys, we have Granite and we have Aziz. We have Rain, which is going to be a damage boost. Skarath, which is going to bring all of this kind of mess together. This is going to be the fight for this one, guys. This is going to be the formation. Um, Thane in here, again, I, I'm very interested to see exactly where he lands. We know he has been nerfed, but you can see his little, I believe it is Wind Shear, um, is up on all of, our, all of our allies. So there is a pretty solid buff that he puts up early within combat. So looking here, guys, look at that, 6.46 million. Um, incredible the amount of damage he, he's doing. And this is where a lot of players were kind of on the fence with, um, seeing the damage that he's doing in a, in a couple of the trials. Um, absolutely phenomenal. I, I do not even remember a hero that did that much damage in a trial. Second formation is going to re remain the same. Um, we do have Entendre in this one. So Thane, of course, comes right, and he goes right into the face of the weakest hero. There he picks up five kills really quick. And look at that, guys, almost five million damage. That is absolutely incredible. Um, th that's incredible. <laughs> that, that is crazy to see him putting up damage that fast, which, again, I, I can see him in a couple different formations, um, especially when it comes to, like, a buffing formation. Because remember, guys, with his Realm Effect... Um, at the start of battle, he receives four layers of the Wind Veil. Um, allies receive two. Each layer increases the attack rating by 4%. Crit amplification by three points. That is right, guys. He is starting with four layers, which increase the attack and the crit. The rest of the team is starting with, with two layers, which is increasing the attack and the crit. Um, which which I, I'm thinking with boss fights, it's going to be interesting to see exactly how this comes out. So formation two guys, we have Gorvo, we have Onu, Onu, or Oku, almost said Oku. Um, so Gorvo up top, Oku right there. Um, Desira is going to be our support in this one, Oden. Now this is going to be interesting because Oden is in the formation and Nara is down here. So again guys, Thane goes straight into the face of a target, um, meaning he is first and foremost right into the, the damage of, of the hero and also doing the amplifying damage. Which again, with the crit rating increase, everything of that nature, guys, 2.1. Look at Oku, 2.24. So Oku actually outdamaged Thane, um, even though he is a tank. That is the reason, guys, why I'm building Oku on my YouTube account. Um, a lot of players have said he is incredible when it comes to having him built out. Another hero that is going to have to have a very significant investment. All right, guys, same formation on this one. We'll go ahead and we'll run through the battle. And there he goes right into the face again of an enemy. Oku knocks Sora's back, gives him a quick stun. And Oku is just destroying it, guys. I, I love how he works. I love how he looks. Has his beetles right in there, guys. 2.38, 2.76. So again, guys, Oku, the, the double stank, stacked tank, um, really giving him a run for his money, which is very cool to see. Now, coming up to the top, we have two more battles up here. Um, next battle is going to be interesting, and this is what I'm wondering. A, a couple more. So this as, actually has Hodgkin, um, really big buffer, crowd control, lures in for the link, meaning that damage is going to go on different heroes. We have Estrilda for the defense and for the attack buff. And then, of course, Laika for the haste, the debuff that she provides, and the energy. So this is a team that is going to kind of amplify the damage that Thane is doing. Um, very, very fast. Hodgkin, guys, a lot of players really do underestimate the power that Hodgkin brings, um, but he is very strong within a couple different formations. 4.9 million damage in there. And that's what I'm wondering, guys, is when you have a team like this where you have a majority of the heroes within the team that do buff up Thane, 
it's going to be interesting to see again exactly where this works this formation exact same um formation he gets five kills guys eight seconds these teams are getting wiped out 4.89 million doing a incredible amount of damage before anyone else in the team can do damage pretty much at all so we passed the final trial we picked up some diamonds out of there so out of the guild trials we get 500 out of there you get another 300 plus you get the stone guys this could be a celestial or a hypogen hero to conclude the arena of trials now we're going to run through the skills and abilities we always do after our test um we already kind of looked at the wind veil this is going to be very interesting because it does have a damage reduction factor in here as well but it does amplify damage which again in boss fights this is going to make a huge difference i can see him being absolutely exceptional with the abyssal expedition to the hunting fields um in addition he could be twisted realm added in there um he could be cursed realm added in there um just from a buff perspective not only does he do a considerable amount of damage he also does buff the rest of the party up guys now, of course wind's edge um this is the ultimate ability stunning them temporarily slashing them four times doing an incredible amount of damage if the enemy's target remaining shield value is lower than 2,000 of things attack um their suffer after they suffer from wind's edge slashes targeted shield is removed now he has a ability to remove a shield which i like then of course guys it goes from four to six attacks in there and then doing additional damage maelstrom when passively used thane's normal attack deal 120 percent of the attack rating as additional wind damage that is right guys it is going to be the regular one this is the bonus damage thane swings the sword three times dealing 240 percent damage um attack damage per time following the attack wind swept in the area in front dealing damage in, within range so now that gives an aoe after suffering from maelstrom enemies suffering from wind shear for 10 seconds if an enemy's health is greater than 70 percent they shall be unable to recover health that is right guys at this point it is going to nullify the healing which i like um it, it's a very cool ability especially if you have some of those difficult healing he heroes um i'm thinking Taylene, um nomura almas some of the stronger healing heroes within an afk arena dueling blades thane locks on his target swinging his sword dealing damage manifesting a wind vortex excluding locked on target other enemies are knocked outside of the wind vortex that is right they are moved outside when within the wind vortex thane's haste is increased by 30 points and the enemies cannot dodge which again is similar to brutus's roar vortex exists for 12 seconds or until he leaves the area this is where um the the crowd control the disruption i feel is really going to come in some formations is if you have a hero like scrath where you can bring the heroes together um you can actually keep them kind of within this vortex um keep him within the vortex allowing him to just completely burn down targets now when the wind vortex is gone it removes a majority of debuffs which is very cool um allied within range are granted one wind veil layer the qual um quantity of wind veil layers cannot exceed eight that is right guys this is going to give you the wind veil layers um which again it is pretty cool because remember that is the attack that is the damage amplification um crit damage amplification that we've seen from his his um realm effect damage received from enemies outside of the vortex is reduced by 60 percent and thane is immune to control effect that's a big damage reduction in there guys then of course at the start of battle this is the one we were talking about instantly moves in front of enemies with the lowest health dealing 300 percent damage knocking them into the air that is right guys the weakest target he is going to target now a lot of players have noticed um this can be kind of coordinated with audrey this can be coordinated with athelia there are a couple of heroes that are pretty beneficial when it comes to building this out um so you can burn down a target super fast and if the enemy dies thane will use it again so ensuring that that enemy dies um really really cool i could also see this working with like a gwen type combo so if you put the weakest target across from gwen um thane will naturally go there regardless of his formation position um and gwen will already have arrows hitting that target as well again pretty cool looking after he uses it the energy recovery rate is of course boosted for 15 seconds which i like if the skill wind veil is active thane will receive two more layers that is right guys he received two more layers he is already starting with four 
maximum of eight, but he can stack more layers on here from abilities like this. Of course, that is from the engraving. Very cool to see, guys. Um, signature item is baked in here. Furniture is baked in here. Engraving is baked in here. Um, if you look at these abilities, these are the ones that are in the, the build itself. A lot of players wonder why we don't run through them. The reason is, guys, with the Awakened Heroes, they are already completely baked in. All right, guys, so that'll do it for the Thane Bountiful Trials. Um, it's going to be up on the on the server today, which is very cool. He, he should have just came out, so make sure you complete the Bountiful Trials. Um, pick up your diamonds, pick up all your loot. Also, pick up your stone out of there. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, and as always, thank you guys for watching.